Hey guys, uh, Nick here, and uh, welcome to, well, I guess it's been a while since I last did a Animal Crossing video. I'm not one to do a daily video kind of thing, but uh, I do like to, like, uh, how to say, show off some of the new events and stuff. So there is a new event for, uh, for Bladders right now, I'll be him sleeping, uh, which is uh, the museum... International Museum Day, which is why we're here in my museum uh, to see what the event is about. I haven't actually gone in yet, so yeah, we'll be uh, in for a surprise. So ho hopefully it's, uh, well, it's just as involved as the May Day event. I don't know. First off, let's drop off a couple of my fossils, have them assessed. Oh, do I need space in my inventory? Okay, everything is already... Uh, yeah, okay, so basically uh, the International May Day event is... Uh, sorry, I was still thinking about the previous event. The International Museum uh, Day event is happening from the 18th till 27th, I think, one week? Or was it 25th? And uh, what we're going to do is going to look at... Uh, I think we're gonna have to look for rally stamps. It, it's a very Japanese thing, I think. This uh, rally stamp idea, this this thing. Like every time you go to, uh, what do you call this? Event or something like that, they're gonna have some rally. But do I have a stamp? There you go. Oh, it's automatic. Cool. And they have their their own cute words about the, the thing. Is that a crawfish in my freshwater pool? Okay. Yeah, so it's very Japanese, or even even Malaysia here. We have a couple of uh, places where oh, just get a couple of stamps. You know, you come in to like Hello Kitty or something like that, and they give you a stamps that that says, oh, okay, uh, you've been here, been here, and at the end of it, you probably get a small prize for it. So I guess it's more or less the same thing. How far down are we? Alright, so stamps are kind of the same. But yeah, it's, it's, it's nice to come in once in a while to the museum. I haven't really looked at it since, you know, dropping stuff off. I usually drop stuff off and then go instead of staying around in the museum. It's quite, quite nice for them to like create an event so you can appreciate the work that you've done for a while. I'm, I'm not done yet, I've still, still a lot to post seaside. Must not let fish know I'm craving sushi. <laughs> but what's up with that? Did all the fish? Cool. Okay, what else? The fish is done, so we have our fossil. Uh, fossil and... I'm not done with fossils yet either, still a lot of ways to go. Fossils and bugs. I don't think Art Gallery has anything. But I do want to see one of the art that I gave up recently. Uh, which side? Right? Mollusk, Anthropods. No backbone, but still tough, I bet. Well, they are fossilized. Alright, then we have... What area is this? Also, it's kind of nice to know what area this is. Aerosaurs. Should call this display not dinosaurs, chapter 2. What? What are these guys then? Actually, I, I, I don't know what's happening with fossils and stuff like that, so I'm a bit confused. Tenapsids. Distant relatives of animals, huh? Oh, because there isn't... There isn't space to put one right in front of them. That's a bit of a shame. I mean, you could just put one here. Like here. Oh, wow. oh, this is done. Oh, this room is done. Nice. 
I thought this one was still in in uh in process, but it looks like it's almost done. Okay, nice. I think the only couple of things like Stegosaurus, Triceratops, sorry, Triceratops is the one that I'm missing bones for, I think. Triceratops and whoever this is. Spinosaurus. T-Rex is done. Yeah, Spinosaurus, Triceratops. Stego is done, okay. Aerodactyl. Pteranodon, sorry, not Pteranodon. Pteranodon. Yeah, my my display for also is almost done as well. Just need a Spinosaurus and Triceratops body. If anyone sees any of those, you know, you know where to drop them off, right? Alright, last one. Well, since it's the last one, why don't we check out the art gallery and see if uh, anything's there. I've been mostly moving buildings around lately, which is why I'm, I'm kind of like broke at the moment. Apples and oranges, Paul Cezanne, Sakar 1899, oil on canvas. The still life is known to have inspired the work of many other artists, including Pablo Picasso. Rather than trying to recreate an image, Cezanne, Cezanne captured the beauty of shapes from many angles. With this work, Cezanne draws on both the atmosphere of his subjects and the spirit of his beholders. So it's not like a still life photo, but an approximation and, and, and inspired by still life kind of thing. And uh, this one. Lady with an ermine. Leonardo da Vinci. Sacra 1490 oil and wood panel. One of the four, only four portraits of women painted by da Vinci, one of which is the Mona Lisa. Some believe that the ermine, ermine is not actually ermine, but rather a white ferret. Wonder what that is. Still a lot of, still a lot to go. Red has not come into my island at all and one of the times that he did come uh, it was like everything was fake all right last one butterflies bugs sorry no one flix is on my island i just saw him just now uh, before i started the video but uh it's raining so not much i can do there can i catch these guys and sell it to flick some of the butterflies are out here as well quiet bench Sometimes it's nice to take a short breather and relax on the bench. All the bugs right next to you. I wonder if uh, bladders will find it relaxing at all. Those are the loaches. The roaches. Wolf. Out of. Butterfly garden. Sitting on a bench at this fountain is about as classy as it gets. Alright, oh. The footsteps are pretty loud actually. Oh, there it is. Lab. I bet some groundbreaking research goes on here. Uh, the fishes one I think will be much more interesting. The Tyranodon one was Tyrannosaurus one was uh, a bit confusing. Pterosaurus, sorry. All right, let's see what my reward is gonna be. I myself find lingering there quite new. That's what I'm saying. Anywho, here's a prize that was promised. Oh no, it's an item. Okay. Uh, I don't want to show it off yet, but I think I'm out of space. So I need to sell off a couple of my items first. Yeah, I'm out.
Let me drop off a couple of stuff before I pick up the rest. Yep, I have a collection of... Uh, I'm sorry. Drop item. Collection of uh, DIY recipes. Oh, oh, the snail actually goes on top of the traps as well. Alright, Flick, where are you? Never mind. It's not waste. Oh, there he is. Uh, I don't think snails. I only have a snail to sell to him. <laughs> this is quite pitiful. Just hurry this up. Wanna sell? Give me at least 10,000. Come on. Nice. Oh, uh, what time is it? <laughs> Way too early. Way too early. I was like, uh, maybe 12 o'clock can show. My turnips prices today was like, uh, 43. And, uh, and, uh, Prophet was like telling me, oh, it might drop to 12. I was like, what? It goes below 40. I've not seen 30 yet, so that's why I was like, it goes below that. I was like, wow. How much do you hate me, man? No, I'm, it's not that they hate me, it's just, it just so happens to be the price. Alright, flick. Get ready for some uh, snails. Of all times for flick to come, uh, during a rainy day when none of the bugs are out, or none of the butterflies and stuff like that are out, so it's a little bit annoying. Grasshoppers are out. There you go. Have you not met me before? And that's any bug. Devotion with conditions isn't devotion at all. That's nice, click. Get so excited, Flick. I'll be back. I'll be back, Flick. I don't have any scorpions yet. I have yet to meet a scorpion. My friends uh, who are playing this game was like, oh, since May I've been bitten by a scorpion twice. I'm like, what? I've yet to actually see one, much less be bitten by one. Hey, okay, let's get the rest out. Fish gallery, alright. Uh, take any photographs as a quest? No. Uh, okay. Mission stamp. Oh, uh, that was a bit too fast. Can I? Well, I don't think I can go back and look at the stamp, right? Man, that, that kind of sucks. I'm sorry. Didn't I catch one yesterday? Okay, let's not press the button too fast. Oh, it's just a bladders. Okay. I thought it was something unique for each one, so... And that's it for the event. <laughs> it, it's like, it lasts a week, but then... Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Alright, uh, let's find a spot to display the items that I got. Show it off a little bit, so that people will know what it is. Let's see... Uh, fish plaque, I think? Oh, uh, great. Okay, so I need to put it... Are all of them plaques? Oh, they are. Okay. So it means I need to put them up on a wall. So let's go and look at my house, which is a little bit weird. Actually, I have not paid too much attention, so apologies for the living room being super messy. Uh, where's a good place to put it? I guess the, the entertainment room. Entertainment rooms should still be empty. Uh, I say entertainment, but it's supposed to be a bedroom. Alright. Let's put it right above the door.
bug one. That's the fossil one. And there's the fish one. So let's move it around a little bit. Uh, how do I go to the wall? Start. This this is uh, evidence of how much I actually do these things. Around a little bit nicer. There you go. Uh, back. Get it through pictures. Zoom in a little bit. There you go. Oh, too close. So there's the fish one. There's the fossil one, and there's the bug one. It looks a bit. Uh, doesn't look high res. Textures, the, the the models don't look that high res, but yeah, nice. All your hard work. Photo. A bit more up. All right. So that's pretty much it for the International Museum Week day event. And uh, yeah, that's what you get. Sorry, living room is a bit messy. Haven't got on the couch yet. But that's pretty much it. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed having a look at the international, whatever this event is called. And uh, if the next event that comes around, maybe in June, we'll, we'll come back and do another video of that. So I can't find my buy remote. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.